Hello friends, my name is Adgasi Francis. Welcome to Internetworks. In this video, we are going to see how to configure network address translation. We are going to configure static net, dynamic net and PET. Starting from static net, we are going to assign the IP address as per our topology. And then we configure static route from this router which is our ISP to the router, this router. And then we configure default route to on this uh, router toward ISP. After that we are going to configure static net uh, with the mapping of this 50 dot network IP address. Then we implement uh, on the inside interface and outside interface. After that we are going to verify with the ping command and with the show command on this router. So starting from configuring the IP address on this router okay on this router we have two interfaces you can see 0 slash u and 0 slash 0 paste you can see the gigabyte 0 slash 0 the IP address 20.1.1.100 which is the default gateway for this PC and another interface is gigabyte 0 slash 2 with IP addresses 198.50.101 okay now on configure the this router which is our ISP router okay The ISP router is also having two interfaces. One is gigabyte zero slash zero. The IP address is uh, one ninety eight fifty one hundred and two. Another the interface is gigabyte zero slash one. The IP address two zero three zero one one three dot one. Okay. Now verify on this piece of lines. Okay, IP config. Okay, this PCs have the IP address of 20.1.1.1. This client, line 2, the IP address is IP config 20.1.1.2 on the this server IP config. You can see the IP address. 203.0.113.2 here also two zero three dot zero dot one one three dot three okay so we have successfully configured the IP addressing now we are going to configure static route from ISP and default route to word ISP okay starting from this ISP here we are going to configure the static route with 50 dot net IP address IP route 50.0.0.0255.0.0.0 the interface is 198.50.100.1 which is this interface okay now on router our router here we are going to configure our default route toward the ISP which is this you can see IP.0.0.0 .0 mask and the next interfaces next stop is 198.50.100.2 now we are going to configure the static net on router with the mapping 50 dot network we have two clients so we are going to map 20.1.1.1 with 50.1.1.1 and 20.1.1.2 with the 50.1.1.2 okay now you see IP net inside the source static is this 
with mapping 50.1.1.1 and the source static inside is 20.1.1.2 with the mapping 50.1.1.2 okay so now we have configured the static net but we haven't implemented on the interface now we are going to implement on the interface inside and the outside interface okay gigabyte 0 slash 0 which is the inside okay. interface gigabyte ethernet 0 slash 0 ip net inside in the same way gigabyte 0 slash 2 ip net outside Yeah. interface gigabyte 0 slash 2 IP net outside yeah. okay now we have configure the uh, implement on the interfaces inside and outside now we are going to generate some traffic from this one okay first ping 303 .0 .1 .1 .2. Let's see, PC1 is able to ping or not, request timeout, request timeout, you can see the reply, let's ping once again, let's see the reply, now we are going to ping this server, ping 203.0.113.3, Request timeout, reply, reply, reply. Replying from 203.0.113. Okay. Here also from client 2. Ping 203.0.113.2. Reply. Okay. Um, Okay, our client is able to ping the server on the internet. Now, let's see the translation with the show command. Show IP net translation. You can see the translation here icmp 20.1.1.2 outside and inside global you can see the addressing here there was more command to ip net statistics you can see the hit time misses time all the parameters so as of now we have successfully configured the static net now we are going to configure the dynamic net okay so now we are going to configure a dynamic net we are continuing our previous lab now we have to remove remove this uh, static net with your ip net translation so the terminal no no ip net inside source static 20.1.1.1 with a map 50.1.1.1 and the second no ip net inside source static 20.1.1.2 and 50.1.1.2 so now we are ready to configure the dynamic net So first we have to write an ACL access list say 90 permit 
now we have to create a pool ip net pool and uh, the pool name we are going to use internet the range one with uh, 50.1.1.100 and the net mask is the 255.255.255. Okay, okay, two small should be at least. Okay, okay. zero. Okay, IP net pool internet 50.1.1.1, 50.1.1.100. Net mask two five five dot two five five dot zero. Okay. Now IP net inside source list ninety. Here you can see pool internet. Remember we have used the name enter. Now we have to implement on the interface inside and outside just like our static net the interface uh, gigabyte zero slash zero IP net inside exit. Uh, interface uh, gigabyte zero slash two IP net outside. Now we have to ping again to generate some traffic. And the tool from client two they are you uh, generating ICMP traffic. You can also can generate uh, TCP uh, with the using of telnet. Okay. Now verify on this. Show IP net translation. You can see the mapping. These address uh, dynamically map. We haven't mapped. We just uh, create the pool here, and the address is dynamically mapped. Okay. Show IP net. Statics. Can see the allocate to allocate here. We have two clients. Message zero inside source here. Okay. Now we have uh, successfully configured the dynamic nest. Now we are going to configure the pad port address translation. Okay. Now we are going to configure a uh, port address translation means that so first we have to remove our previous configuration with uh, no access list 90 then no IP net pool internet this come up and no IP net inside source this no IP net inside list the pool name is internet now after that, we are now we are ready to configure port address translation. Okay. First, we have to write an ACL. Okay. Access list uh, ninety. If permit twenty dot zero dot zero dot zero. And the master's, 
to filter it. Okay, after this, now we have to configure a pool, IP net pool, and the name is we are using internet. Okay, you can choose any name, and the IP address we are using this 50. We are using a single IP address for these two clients. Uh, in fact, we can use over 100 over 100 client with a single IP address. We can translate from a single IP address. So in our topology, we have only two clients. So okay, now the IP address is 50.1.1.1 and the 50.1.1.1 and the net mask is 255.255.255.255 okay now we have to write another command ip net inside and the source list is which is our the source list is this 90 and the pool name is internet okay and you can see here this O K I P not I have mistaken here list empty now you can see the overload that is also called an uh, overload okay now overload now we have to implement this on the interfaces just like uh, static net dynamic net we have two interfaces gigabyte 0 slash 0 ip net inside and the exit and another one is interface gigabyte 0 slash 2 and net outside exit now we have to verify our, from the species we have to generate some traffic okay so you can see the reply is coming from 203.0.113.2 which is the server on the internet we are going to ping another server which is 203.0.113.2 sorry 13.3 you can see the reply is coming from 203.0.113.3 which is the server again we are going to ping from here find to reply and to reply let's see on this router and show IP net translations you can see the translation here you can see the ports there you can see the port if you have any confusion there's a link in the description box so you can visit it out i have got everything about the port address translation dynamic net and s net so as of now we have successfully configured our network address translation configurations if you like this video please give a thumbs up and always thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much